Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel Smiles Per Gallon. How is everybody? Hope you're feeling above average. I'm sure you are. Right, today's a big day. I've got to take um, Old Blue Thunder over to the MOT station. Um, so I thought I'd just do a vlog on it. Before I take it, I'm going to just go out and do some pre-checks. You know, um, I've been for a bit of a ride. So, um, and I have looked at basics like your indicators and your lights and everything. But um, now that I'm back, I'm just going to go out and just double check them, make sure all the lights are working, all the indicators, the tyres and everything. Just do some pre-checks on it just before I take it for the MOT. Um, so if you'd like to come outside with me, we'll crack on and get this thing done. Come on, let's do it. So we start off, we're going to check the front lights, hazards, it's just hazards working, check the indicators, check the right, right indicators working, you just cancel that. Yep, on. <laughs> Check lights. It's dipped beam. Parking. Main beam and flasher. I'm going to check rear lights and the braking light. Front tire's fine. Bearings all good. Pre-check on the Fox. So I know fine. that the um, the brakes are working fine. Really, really good to be honest, because I've been out for a ride on it. I did these checks this morning, I just didn't film it, so I just thought I'd, I'd pre-film it just to um, Give you some legibility on the checks that you do need to do before taking it for an MOT. Um, quite basic and straightforward. They do test other things um, like your exhaust gases and everything, but that's something I can't do at home. So um, I'll see you when we get to the station then. Well, weather's not too good today. Um, it stopped raining, and I'm taking my bike for its MOT. Uh, the MOT doesn't run out what 26th of August however I want to get it in and um, get it done now give me 13 months and near enough won't it um, so yes I'm taking Blue Thunder I'm just taking it out for a little spin first um, I've checked all electrics as you as you know All my lights, all my indicators, my arm, my tyres, I've checked bearings and I've checked forks. Obviously it's a is it cantilever or a telelever suspension on the front. I can't remember if it's telelever, I think it's I think it's classed as a cantilever actually, but we'll call it telelever. Um, suspension on the front. So obviously when you brake, you don't get no dipping. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, nice gentleman there waving me past, but it's only 30 mile an hour. Knowing my luck, if I did, there'd be a, a bobby parked up down there with a speed gun pointing at me. So, like I said, I'm just out for a little run of, of um, just before I. Cheers, mate! Really nice of him. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna bob it in for MOT. It's over in a place called Nottingley, AG, ATG Autos. I take it there every year. Well, when I say every year, I take it there whenever it needs MOT. And I took it there last year. And it's coming up to like two years since I've owned this bike. So yeah, uh, will it pass? Will it fail? Who knows? It'll pass, I'm sure it will. I can't find any faults with it anyway. Anyway, brakes work fantastic. All electrics are working. I can't feel anything loose anywhere or any corrosion, any rust. So in my eyes, I should imagine it'll, it'll pass flying colours. But we will see. So yeah, I'm heading towards Nottingley. Uh, but I'm like, I'm just going to take it round me, uh, round me old uh, mountain biking route that I used to do, just to warm it up. Um, I'll not film MOT obviously, because the lads at the garage might not like it. So uh, just before I get there, I will pack my camera up and um, and then I'll switch her back on once the MOT is done and tell you the outcome she's a good bike honestly it's good to get out on her to be honest I've not ridden her for what a couple of months and it's like I've never been off her you know what I do like about this bike is the um, is that anti, the anti dipping on the front end you know it's just so smooth after getting off the KTM and getting on this, you know, yeah, that one very, very nice, wasn't it? Need to look in your mirrors, love. She did flag me over there, by the way, but yeah, she needs to look in the mirrors before she's pulling up. I'm only doing 30 mile an hour, by the way, so. But yeah, it's the, it's this front suspension when you pull the brake, it, you just feel you're sending <laughs> slide, you know, not sliding forward. You've just got to obviously tense up and not onto the handlebars, but. The forks don't dip, don't dive at all, which is um, it's a completely different riding style to KTM. But obviously, it's going to be the KTM's a 390 street machine, and this is a, a 1200 beast. <laughs> yeah, I've checked the uh, the tyre pressure. The tyres are all in good condition. Um, I can't see anything wrong with it whatsoever, so you know, I'm actually banking that it'll pass. I'd put money on it passing anyway. I'll let it run to temperature first as well uh, because I wanted it to, you know, oil to circulate. I'm going to have a word with the guys there as well at ATG, see if they can do anything with the. Um, the water and fuel pump what it is it's a combined unit and um, the seal's gone in me in the oil pump now it's not dangerous just so long as I keep my eye on the oil I did check it before I came out um, and what happens well, when you put it on the um, on the side stand it leaks a little bit of oil I've mentioned this in one of my other videos it leaks a little bit of oil not a lot just like a few drips you know so, but still it's irritating if you pull up anywhere at a bike meter or you put it on side stand and um, <laughs> you know it's leaking out it'll look at you like yeah like your bike's knackered but anyway yeah uh, so yeah so it's the seal unit in that kit you can buy a kit from the uh, bmw dealership that sell parts in home firth and it's a full kit i think it's about 27.99 and it replaces all the seals in the water and the oil pump and it does the fan for the water pump as well it puts an uprated not a fan like a looks like a windmill thing uh, like a wheel with, with wings on and it what it does it it spins and it, it circulates the um, the water i believe i'm no expert but i believe that's what it does so anyway yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna buy one of them and uh, see how much they're gonna charge me for for fitting it i think it's uh it's a bit far to be sending it to york to guy that removed me abs i think because it's not really a specialist job it's just you know i mean i could do it myself probably if i had a um 
a, a bike lift, I would do it myself. It's not that hard to do. You've only got to drain your water, drain your um, your oil, take the pump off, which is just a front engine. It's it's quite a straightforward process. Then just change your seals. There's videos on YouTube and anyway, K series. So yeah, it is quite a straightforward process to do it. So you know, uh, I ain't got a, I ain't got a lift though. Might be, might be better off investing in one and do it myself. I don't know. Depends what these guys say they're going to charge me. If it's going to be over two hundred quid, I think I can pick a lift up for about two hundred quid off uh, the old marketplace. So it'll look familiar this place to you. It's my backyard sort of thing. But I can get to Nottingley this way, so I've not got my droner out on me, I just you know I've not got time, weather's not really right. You want it to be sunshiny when drone goes up, so yeah. So we'll cue a bit of music. touring screen that I'd got on because one of the lugs here had broken but yet yeah, I've uh, I've managed to fix it with a bit of sandpaper and some uh, like Gorilla Glue um, and yet yeah, it's just as good as new I think it looks better than the it looks all right does that over screen but it's a bit I don't know it just takes character away from bike because it's a bit makes it look more like a sports tourer than a sports bike and I think myself it front side especially front it look front side I mean not not so much front front but it looks like a uh, more like a sports bike anyway um, rather than a, a tour that's right, so going straight across this roundabout I'm going to point to the turn left there on M62 Chicane Chicane So yeah, if you live over in West Yorkshire Take your bike for MOT over to ATG Autos at Forge Hill Lane I'll stick a dress up there for you telephone number right so I'm um, a little bit further up this road I'm nearly here that's kicking some shite out of that van in front so what I'll do is some pulling and I'll switch it off and then I'll uh, I'll turn you back on as I'm coming home come on darling you're all right <laughs> So 
So, what do you think? Pass or fail? <laughs> she passed. Oh, I'm gonna have a cramp after it. Not been sat on her for a. Been stood up for about 20 minutes. She passed flying colours. Oh, something I did forget to mention, but bloody I've been sat talking to him for about an hour, half hour, what have you. Very well, mechanic were doing MOT and forgot to ask him about frigging the oil pump, water pump. Ah oh, well, never mind. So, um, just to shorten guys and girls, if there's any girls watching. So if you got this far, please, if you haven't already subscribed, like and subscribe and share if you want. Hit that bell icon. And I'll see you next time. Love you all to bits. See you later.